Hey, back up in the kitchen family room. Now I'm gonna go back out into the backyard. And uh, we've got, first of all, a little overhang here with some corrugated plastic and some pressure treated wood. Looks decent to me. Looks like that is uh, pretty well done. No complaints from me on that one. Some firewood. And then this is the big two car garage, which hopefully you'll be able to see. Um, they've got a lot of junk in here. Obviously not parking any cars, but it, uh, it's a big two car garage with a workshop, a workbench in the back of it. So um, you could fit probably two cars in here and still have room for um, a workshop back here. I don't know about having too much equipment, but it is larger than a two car. I would say it's about, you get an extra maybe eight feet at the back that you would normally not have in a regular two car garage. Window there, that's nice. Looking up, rafters, there you have it. Um, electricity and all that stuff. So that's pretty good. Now let me show you the backyard. Um, nice grassy area. Over here, chain link fence. Neighbor's backyard is really nice. Um, looks like they've also added onto the back of their house. Um, okay, and then you've got a big hedge in the back, so let me turn around so you can get an idea. Back of the garage, scanning back over, big tree, and storage shed here, which is locked and I can't get into, but I can peek in the window, and I did before and I will again, and you can kind of see it's being used as um, store, sort of garden storage. There's a dog house in there, stuff like that, so it's, you know, not nothing spec spectacular and fabulous but very useful um, and a lovely tree here which is just still leafing out not finished and I guess that's about it so I think I'm done